Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 14th of September. The local media headlines today. Now today is not only the first day of the rest of our lives, it is also the first day of the rule of six. Stand by for all kinds of inconsistencies. Health officials and the police are hoping that people will figure out for themselves how to make it work without too many getting fined or arrested. And as for the new breed of marshals and what they're supposed to do, that's still something of a mystery. Meanwhile, the COVID-19 numbers continue their relentless rise, with more new cases confirmed in Cornwall last week than in June and July combined. Cornwall Reports was on hand to record another leisure centre protest, this time at Wadebridge, and the financial chickens are coming home to roost for the Tamar Bridge and Torpoint ferries. Without government help, tolls will have to increase. Pirate FM was among the media to note that Cornwall's tourism sector is getting another £3 million from the taxpayer, this time to help in the Mounts Bay area. Much of the cash is still coming from the European Union and is intended to help stretch the tourism season into the winter months. The BBC reported on a new scheme at Loo intended to recycle crabbing lines. The Cornish Times covered a cheque presentation for the local Samaritans. And finally, Cornwall Live is looking forward to some good weather. And those are the local media headlines today. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.